Thank you for watching. All support appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all new content and episodes. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So today, we're not um, gonna be rolling anything up. You know, I don't know if you guys been watching, but I've been doing some um, reviews on different devices. As you can see, um, I just was hitting the, this the Leaf Buddy TH420. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I must say that, you know, it's, it's pretty sturdy, you know. Um, it's actually a pretty good device. I dropped it a few times, so it's cracked a little bit, but you know, through and through, you know, it's it's been it's been doing a good job for the time amount of time I had it. Um, you know, there are a few things that you know you need to know first. You mess with your device, know your device, because if you don't, then the smallest thing can happen to it, and then you'll end up thinking that you know it's broke basically. So know your device. Um, Watch another episode. I got one about a few hacks in there, so check it out if you haven't seen it. But, um, so today I'm going to show you guys a different device and, um, kind of threw me for a curve because it's not even one of these, um, things like this, which, um, this one right here, um, which is the Ooze by Cruise, um, the recommendation, I wouldn't, it's just too many malfunctions. I had to get two of them and they're both broke. So, you know, the recommendation on that one after further, you know, spending more time with it, then I wouldn't really recommend it. <clears throat> but one that I would recommend and the one that I'm going to be showing you guys right here is this little buddy right here. And, you know, it's the M3 and this is for C-Cell technology. Meaning that um, if your cartridge is not c cell, then it will not work with this one. But if you haven't upgraded your vape game to at least on a c cell level, then you know you got you a cartridge and it's not working or some other weird stuff going on, then hey, you know, you got to step your game up, <clears throat> evolve with the time. If you got a wick in your cartridge right now, then you really need to, you know, evolve. But if it has a hole at the bottom of it, then, you know, this cartridge, will, this battery will work with it because this cartridge pairs perfectly with cartridges that have holes at the bottom with the airflow at the bottom, excuse me. So, like I said, this is the M3 and um, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot right now. So, um, the more I do these vape reviews about these different devices. Oh, this is a brass knuckle cartridge right here, by the way. Um, Gorilla Glue number four. So we finna get this one open right here for you guys. Give me a second. <clears throat> and give that one a go ahead. Um, so any of the cartridges that have um, the airflow at the bottom, then it'll work with this one. But I was, I've been learning a few things since I've been messing with these devices. <clears throat> and that is, one, you need to know your cartridge a little better because sometimes um, if you don't, then you could even put your cartridge on the wrong battery or something and it won't hit. And then you'll think that either the cartridge or the battery's not working. So it's just a few little things that you really need to pay attention to because these are things that I'm kind of learning <clears throat> as I go along, as I'm sharing them with you guys, who, whomever's watching this, hopefully it's you and hopefully you subscribe, hit the notification. I'm just kidding, but the link's in the description. Um, so there's a bunch of little things that I'm learning as I'm going along too and I'm sharing them with you guys too. But since I lost my little... I had me a silver one. It wasn't um, this M3, but it was a nice one, and I had it for a while. And um, since I lost that one, then this is the first one that 
you know, I had other than, like I said, the crews and I had a bunch of them. Um, I had this one right here and um, these ones right here are a gamble. Um, they're a really gamble and, um, you know, it's up to you. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. If you go to the smoke shop, sometimes they have a no refund policy. So you went ahead and bought you a, um, a device and it didn't work and then they didn't have a no refund policy and it just gave you a whole bad experience about the vaping and then you left it alone. So, you know, there's just different stuff. But um, I'm going to show you guys a few things, take a few and we finna hit a few and then, you know, hopefully you make a better decision on what you want to do when it comes to vaping. So first thing I want to do is show you um, this right here because, you know, this Shatterhouse right here, um, which is an excellent brand, but their cartridge is not a C-cell, so it has a flathead at the bottom. So with this cartridge, it does, with this battery, excuse me, it does not um, operate. Now, that's not a bad thing because, you know, the market is converting over to pretty much C-cell standard. So when you get cartridges like these, sometimes it could just be overstock or people just trying to get the cheap cartridges and get them off because they had them before C-cell became so dominant in the market. So um, also this is not push button, this is um, air pull. So you just hit it and it operates. But as you can see, see nothing. So, and that reason is because of this little flathead. There's no hole at the bottom because this is a, a different kind of cartridge. This is a glass um, airflow. Um, and as you can see right there at the bottom, this one has the hole at the bottom. So that one's not going to work. So now if somebody grabbed this and this cartridge and put them together and didn't really know, wasn't up on the informational knowledge on vaping, then automatically they're gonna be, they're gonna think that they got scammed, the cartridge is no good, the uh, battery's no good, they might get mad, run back to the, where you see, so there's a bunch of different things. But that's why I'm making this video just for you. Hopefully you watching it all the way through. So now this one right here, it has the hole at the bottom. And um, this one has the hole M3. So you just power that up like that there. Um, also, I do want to say, because um, if you just put a fresh cartridge onto the battery, this doesn't have a preheat. So if you just take a hit and don't really get that big of a hit, then you might think that it's not really that powerful, but trust and believe this bad boy is powerful. So you're gonna see right now. I always test, get a little, see? You see that's a nice little hit coming out of this little bad boy right here it's the m3 um this has a 10 second um pull time so you can hit it for 10 seconds as you can see me i like to get the multiple hits <coughs> and um really get that full 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 you know experience and as a matter of fact on it hit that that's that Gorilla Glue. You know, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is the M3. This is 350 um, MAH. I'm still learning a little bit about that, but um, 
it's milli amp pre something per hour and um that's what that means so this is this has 350 it's a 50 minute um charge time full charge time um to charge full this has 650 mah right here so um that just gives you a little little grasp of it and as you've seen the cloud that came out is pretty decent so let's see right here You see? You see? So it's not that bad. Recommendation always try to keep your um, device fully charged as much as possible for optimum performance. So that way, um, you don't wonder why the um, quality of the hits went down. So make sure that you keep your battery charged up. And um, get you one more before we go. Yep. And um, on that note, I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Links in the description. Make sure that you watch some of them other videos. I got some interviews coming up on the way with some new artists. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Man, I appreciate all the support, everybody, especially the people who are really watching and staying tuned in. You know, it means a lot more than you think. Make sure you go ahead and drop something off in the comments. Like, subscribe, anything. Look at that smoke right there. Told you. Hold on. Hit it. Hit it. it.